the at replies as quickly as possible. Uh, the quicker you are with Twitter, the more you are in tune with the social networks, uh, the more people will engage with you. Uh, try to respond to every at reply as well. Uh, some of them are not relevant to you and some of them um, may be bots or something, something that you don't feel the need to reply to. You don't have to, but try to respond to every single person if you can. Uh, there's something really, really cool out there called Follow Friday. This is huge. Um, Follow Friday, see how it's got the hashtag that makes it easier to search, is basically when someone is interested in you. Every Friday, Follow Friday goes down, and they'll say all their network, they'll say follow this person. Like, I like following this person, they have great stuff, follow this person. There's two different methods of doing this. There's the traditional way, where you just hit Follow Friday, you put FF, or Follow Friday with the hashtag, and you just put a bunch of people's information, or you put a bunch of people's usernames in that tweet. This is a good method for a couple reasons because it's quicker, it's easier, and usually, how many people is in there? There's about seven people in there. These people will get mentioned, and what they'll do is they'll spread it to other people as well. They, what they'll do is they'll retweet that they got this tweet, and all those other people will see that. So the potential to grow off this one follow Friday is exponential. If this this reached seven people, if all seven of us uh, send it to another ten people each, that's seventy more people. If those ten people send it, so forth. You get the point, right? It's it's like bacteria. This stuff goes viral. It grows. It's awesome. The more personal and really great way to build relationships is. The example below, if you look at Master Boozer over here, uh, Master Boozer is awesome on Twitter. You got to make sure to follow him. He's uh, he's very inspirational as well. He took it to a more personal level. He hit us up. He said, "Follow Friday at Champions Way. They're a powerful resource to the martial arts school owner that I don't use as often as I should. Lots of knowledge there. So he's going out of his way. He's personally describing us. He's personally promoting us to his people." And of course, every Friday, I give him props back. I tell people, follow him. He's the man, right? So as I mentioned before, scratch people's back, they'll scratch yours. Somebody shows you love, show love back. So I'm going to wrap it up here. I want you guys to all remember that Twitter is continuously evolving. It is always growing. It is always changing. That's why it's important that you are active on Twitter and that you see the growth, that you see the change. It's also important that you do research on Twitter. Don't just sit there and tweet. You have to be active and you have to, you have to learn how to um, adapt with these times. Mashable is a great resource for social media. They, they post new social media news. So if, for instance, there's a new feature available on Twitter, They'll tweet that. So follow them on twitter.com slash mashable. Uh, a couple apps I actually forgot to mention were TwitPic and TwitVid. Those are the systems that you use to uh, upload videos and pictures to Twitter. Uh, they're, the, they're linked in with Twitter so that if you, if you have a Twitter account, all you do is you put your username and your password in there and you'll be, you'll be on the fly. You'll be able to upload a picture or a video in no time. Uh, again, there are some links to some of the other sites that I mentioned. Also, um, another good resource for you is us. We're, we're a great resource. Our blog, we're constantly posting uh, new, new advances in technology that we're having. Uh, we're constantly posting webinars and stuff like that on our Twitter, on our Facebook. So make sure to get in touch with us. Make sure to follow us. Uh, Tony, it's in the leads area. And that's all I have for you today, guys. So I'm going to open it up to questions. Uh, Sensei and Nick will be copying and pasting your questions into the note box, and I'll answer them as they come. Guys, thank you again for staying this long. Sorry, I went a little overboard here. I get a little passionate when I talk about social media. Sensei John, yes, it is recorded. We will send you a recording. Uh, I'm going to post 
my information in here. If you send me an email, I will be able to send you the information. So just send me an email requesting uh, requesting the webinar slides and the webinar recording. Okay, just getting these questions loaded up here. Uh, if you are interested in the, the Twitter background, uh, just send me an email and we'll arrange with our designers and see if we can schedule something for that. There's a limit of characters in the Twitter username. Uh, truth be told, I don't know the limit of characters in a Twitter username. But that's uh, that's I I don't like that question. That scares me because if you saw the traditional method of retweeting, the traditional method I'm going to type it in here is RT the person's username then whatever they said. So if that sorry, I'm just going to that in there. If that username is long, okay, thank you, MMA Maxim. If that username is 15 characters long, that's 16 characters that you just took out of the space for them to retweet. And they're going to have to hop in there, and they're going to have to edit what you're saying and make it shorter. How do you include images on the Twitter background? So the Twitter background, that was, uh, that was designed by our designer. Uh, he put it together. Uh, he just took logos that we had and put it together and put something together to go consistently with our branding to represent our image very well and to direct people potentially to other places uh, that they could benefit from us. How come we can't see our tweets on our followers page? Uh, sorry, who asked the question about uh, how come we can't see our tweets on our followers pages? Can you can you explain that a little further to me, MMA Maxon? Okay, I'm going to move on to the next question for now, Sensei Nick. If we can keep this first question up there from Richard Marlin, I just need him to explain that a little further for me. Do you recommend a setup where you post on Facebook and then it posts to Twitter as well? Why or why not? Um, I do recommend it for, for ease of use. It, it makes things a little quicker. Uh, it makes life a little easier. But I, I don't personally do it myself often because what it does is that it shortens what you're posting in Twitter and provides a link that redirects it to Facebook. I mean, it's cool in the sense that, yes, you're redirecting people to another social channel of yours, people who may not potentially be on that social channel of yours, but at the same time, uh, you are reducing the content that's in there and people might ne not necessarily get the full message. So, to your discretion, I personally do it once in a while with uh, shorter tweets, but if it's something that's that I need the full 140 characters for, I'll do the full 140. Sorry, Richard. I think that was MMA Maxim. MMA Maxim, can we? Uh, can you just explain this a little further? Uh, this question you had here: How come we can't see our tweets on our followers page? I'm gonna move on to the next question here. Do you recommend a setup where you post on Facebook? Oh, I already got that one. Sorry. Hope that was a good enough answer for you. Will you be offering step-by-step -step instruction on how to set up and network these great tools? Uh, well, these, these, uh, these, the setup of these websites is very simple. If you do ever need a hand, you can feel free to send me an email and I'll kind of walk you through it. But you'll find that once you do go to the setup page, 
that it's it's really straightforward and it'll have you going in no time.